Early in Phil's career, he got an amazing opportunity to work on one of the most iconic franchises of all time, Star Wars. So let's take a look at some of the stuff he started with on A New Hope. Early in production, Phil primarily worked on stop motion material doing the hollow chest sequence, but then he had to get pulled onto the makeup department so he could make some creatures for the cantina scene. So here we have an alien he designed. This is known as the Duros alien. It's made out of latex. It's got these cool red eyes and this kind of smug look on its face, the bulbous head. This has actually become kind of an iconic creature in the Star Wars universe. So while Phil was working for Baker's uh, makeup team, he got this shirt. This shirt we've seen before, but on the back we kind of see this iconic 70s style uh, felt lettering spelling out makeup artist and his name. Definitely an interesting addition to any piece. You don't see those uh, felt letters on the back of these Star Wars crew shirts very often. And now here we have the Dianoga monster from the trash compactor scene in A New Hope. This puppet is gorgeous with hand-painted details, hand-punched hair. It originally was designed with a blinking mechanism. The puppet mechanism actually sinks down into this box here. Phil also did a lot of work on one of the more iconic battle sequences from the franchise, the Snowspeeder versus Adat Walkers on the planet Hoth. So here we have a background cutout uh, of an Adat Walker that would be placed in the back to kind of trick uh, the camera to make it seem like there were more Adats than there actually were. And then also, Phil went in and did a lot of research on elephants and their motion just because he knew they kind of matched the size and scale of the Adat walkers. So he'd study that footage and take extensive notes so he could apply all of that to the animation of the footsteps of the giant robots in the sequence. So Phil worked on all three of the Star Wars films, including Return of the Jedi. Uh, if you look here, we have this amazing hand-drawn rockboard alien sketch. Uh, it's dated uh, October 1982. Uh, included with that lot we have several storyboards kind of depicting the creature jut its tongue out of its mouth grabbing a little uh, bug of some kind. Now Phil worked extensively with the Rancor creature in the film which is why this particular storyboard binder is so important to this collection. It includes several hand-drawn notes below uh, some printed storyboards and these are all production used and they depict the Rancor sequence when Luke Skywalker fights the beast. Early in the production of Empire Strikes Back, Phil did a lot of work uh, designing the Tauntauns, and here we have some maquettes pulled from his original molds. We have a full Tauntaun here, unpainted and gray, and we have two small Tauntaun heads that have some paint detail there. We have a lot of other Star Wars material in the auction, so make sure to check it out, place your bids for your chance to own a piece of cinema history.